Hello everyone, this is my first female safety video. I know I've just made like a new video like one minute ago or like three minutes ago. But anyways, this is my first fa female safety video. First female safety video. So, a lot of you, um, so today I will... I will teach you about of how to protect your child of t of how to keep your child safe when they're older and how they can walk alone from school by themselves. Now, be right back. I'm just going to get something back with the script. Okay. Today I will talk about the dangers of walking home from school. Make sure to stay tuned to the ends for tips to stay safe. Number one, never have your information tag on your backpack. The reason why, well, it's because pedophiles slash people walk behind you will obviously see, you, see your personal information and can track you down of where you live, your address, your home, what school you do go to, your email, your password, and other stuff. Number two, Never share your information on social media and you, no matter what. I would suggest to keep your information private for only your friends and family, not random people on social media. I know I've come with experiences. For example, when I was like playing Among Us, somebody went into my pri went into my server and s asked me if I was a girl. I respond to them yes. I ask them why. They also said, "Can I have, if they can have my number or so?" It was a really scary experience, but now I've learned my lesson. Oh, and don't forget, no, no sharing your information on social media, no matter what, because people on social, on social media will know where will know where you at because you posted where you are at on social media congrats you're gonna be part of the statistics yay sounds so exciting quote unquote sorry if i did that wrong okay number three i always tell your family that what time you will be home and where are you going because your parent because for many reasons Lots of children have been got kidnapped by the park with by using methods by pedophiles. If you don't know what is a pedophile, it's a uh, it's mostly like a person who likes young girls. Sorry if I offended you. Okay. The reason why to tell your family what and what and what time you will be home and where are you going is because if you're not there okay they can easily call you to come back home and remind you if you don't know but this is sad but predators are predators are everywhere and I really don't want you to like go through any of these situations of anything sensitive. I want every one of you to like stay safe of everything because I never want any of you to to suffer from all of this. Number 4. Number four, predators are most likely to catch you whenever you're wearing revealing clothes and stuff. So what I would recommend is to wear like unrevealing clothes. I know some of you girly girls are like, oh, but we wanna wear that. Well, you shouldn't. Just only wear it when you're like, never mind, never wear it. Only wear it when there's nobody around or so. I mean, you can try them on, but I'm not really of a girly girl, and I really hate wearing dresses and stuff. So what I would recommend is is to like wear like mostly covered up clothes, so so like nobody will um 
like recognize you or try to hit on you. Uh. Number five. Do not text on your phone or call on the phone. It will make your chances to get harassed higher. Predators are most likely to take girls who are distracted, and it could be anybody, but nobody really knows who or who or what. And finally, number six. Never, ever, ever follow your friends to the park. You will most likely get distracted by the park, and your friends will leave will leave the park without you knowing, and you will be all alone. And did you know most kidnappings happen around by 4 and 7? I learned that on TikTok, and I don't have TikTok because I watch them on YouTube. So, never go to the park with your friends. Even if they insist you, just don't. But if you want to, you need to you need to ask your parents first. Okay. Thank you for staying till the end. Welcome to the tips. Here I will give you tips on how to keep your children safe while walking home. Mm. Okay. Always walk with a friend's home. I would suggest to walk with a friend's home because you will have company. And once you... Sorry about that. That was like my mother calling me. Anyways, always walk with a friend's home. I would suggest to walk with a friend's home because you will have company. And once you and your friend arrive at your house, you can say goodbye to your friends and then enter your house if you have keys or not and knock on the door if nobody is home just go back to your friends and then go back to your school and stay in the office <sighs> number two this is for parents too okay so parents if you're also watching this i would suggest to buy your child the phone because if they are walking home Sorry, I messed up there. Always have a phone on you. I would suggest to buy your kid a phone at 10 if they are walking home. Because one day they will need to call you to pick them up when they can't, when they can't, like, be to the home. But they will try and call, but nope, they don't have a phone. So I would suggest to buy your kid a phone. And... Oh, by the way, there's this, like, safe social media app for kids. I don't know what it is, but I found it on the internet or so. Sometimes the internet can be sometimes bad, but I personally take it seriously. Okay? <sighs> Number three. Give your child the house key just in case you will not be home. So at least they can enter the house by themselves. <clears throat> Number four. Always have a number bracelet on your kid. Now, I said no information tag, but a number bracelet is good for, like, about, like, younger kids. Like, about six to younger or so. Always have a number bracelet on your, by, on your toddler or infant. The reason why is is because when the kid is lost, they can ask a later and her kid to call you or or the or you or your child can go to the to the nearest policeman or guard to call you number five practice your route from home from school to home from home to school and numbers and finally number six learn self-defense that's all I hope you enjoyed this paragraph I wrote. I hope you like this paragraph I wrote. It has taken me forever to finish this. So I hope so I hope to see you again next time. Bye everybody. Stay safe out there. Wash your hands and sanitize your hands. Stay safe. Bye.